All right, everybody, we are back with another mediocre unboxing. Today, we are working with my MetaQuest 3, and then we are working with the Bobo VR M3 Pro head strap that I got off of Amazon, and we will have a link in the description below. So the reason for me choosing this head strap is that I'm going to be using my VR for automotive content. And the first video that I did with it, uh, with me washing my car, this thing is very unbalanced. Uh, there's a lot of weight in the front. And also, the strap setup on this thing is absolutely horrendous. I think everybody complains about the head strap, and they're not lying. It is really terrible. So you definitely need to invest in a better head strap if you're going to be wearing this thing because it is top tier trash. Let's get to unboxing it and let's get into taking off this stock terrible head strap and put it on what's supposed to be a major upgrade. And let's see what we have in this box. We have some foam and we have the head strap itself. And then the back piece that goes on the back of your head looks like. And then we have what is probably the battery. So we have the USB-C to USB-C. And then of course we have the wireless magnetic rechargeable battery. What we're gonna do first is remove the stock head strap. You kind of take right here the back side, you put some pressure on it, and then it just pops off like so. And then of course, the head strap itself, you just pull it out, and then stock head strap is removed. This head strap, it just slides right onto the stock head straps. I think a bunch of the other ones, you have to snap on the way that the stock one comes off, Oh, is this upside down? Yep, definitely upside down. So make sure you have it right side up. That will be important. And then it should just slide right on in, like so. Once you get your, once you get your angles, all figured out and get the charging cord out the side then it just slides in like so and that is pretty simple so then of course you would take your charging wire plug it in there this has a left and a right this goes right, I don't know if you can see it, right into those indentations on the back of the head strap. It just slides in, got a nice positive pop. Well, I'm not sure where these go, so if you know, please leave a comment in the comment section, because I'm not sure. But we do have this strap on the front. We want to take that and just slide it through in the stock location. I'm not going to lie to you, getting this uh, front strap down in there and under was a pain in the butt. So if you have any tips or tricks on how to make that easier, please leave it in the comments below for future viewers. Was a big pain in the butt. That could have been a little bit better design there. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you have more adjustability, more comfort uh, with the battery. You definitely will have better weight distribution for sure. And you also get easier adjustability. So if you're switching from user to user, uh, this will give you uh, tightness on the head. And then this will definitely be more universal and probably more comfortable uh, as well. The stock head strap was really garbage especially in the adjustability uh, realm and I'll only get about an hour playing um, Asgard as well 
So I'm curious to see how it performs, how it feels, and also how it goes for using this for um, automotive videos as well. So if you're on the fence of getting it installation wise, it was really, really easy and adjustability wise is 20 times better than the stock head strap. Again, if y'all know where these go, please leave a comment below because I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't really stick anywhere. Um, so if y'all do know, please let me know. But I can't wait to use this um, to record some automotive content. Uh, I need to fix the cold air inbox on my car because I bought it really third hand and it didn't have the brackets on the box that secures it to the car. So I'm thinking I will use this to install that on my car sometime soon. So if you're interested in that, please like, please subscribe for upcoming videos. And I might start doing maybe some, uh, some VR game content as well. So like everything that you do, think, build, enjoy. Till the next time, peace.